name's Rosie Kay and um, I'm a choreographer and a company director and um, I suppose I helped put this three day Ideas Tap Mac sort of dance lab course together really. So in this lab I was really interested in working with you and creatives to explore what is the parameters of how to put the name you to set up to develop to really establish yourselves as practitioners in this really in this tough group climate and let's not make the bones about it, it's a tough group climate. I think really my ambition um, is to be in a contemporary dance company and I really want to perform. That's you know that's my biggest dream. Um, and I feel like I wanted to kind of broaden my knowledge and kind of widen areas of thinking that can really help me develop and reach that goal. When I was approached, that like, we knew that we wanted to do some work around the performance and rehearsals I have of uh, the show that I'm touring at the moment, There Is Hope. And when I talked with Dan, who's the uh, sort of new generation director here, we were trying to identify what's the missing training, what's the missing link. And I felt that there was quite an issue with young graduate performers um, maybe sort of lacking some business skills or kind of next step skills. So this is me being the business guru here. <laughs> I just have a suit on. Um, so before you start, you kind of need to think what what's what's the issue here? You know, what's why is it not easy? I feel like I know I'm a teacher and I do it well, but then that's something totally different to making work. But um, there's this thing when you leave for me when I left to and I sort of have to justify myself being an artist and being proud for saying that and sort of finding my and this is where I'm struggling with finding my place in the sort of food chain if you know what I mean. Like everyone makes place in the world. And where do I fit as an artist? That's not easy for lots of reasons. Insecurities, sort of being being afraid to, to boast, then afraid to kind of show up and say I'm really good at this. The vastness of the world <laughs> makes me feel insignificant or overwhelmed. Who am I? Why why should I have anything to say? Uh, the advice Rose has given us was completely valuable to me. Um, it made me realise how the professional dance world actually um, operates because I'm from a folk background so and I work that way and it's completely different. So I wanted um, I wanted something that was had some theoretical backbone to it but I also wanted it to be practical and physical and real so I tried to combine a few methods so every day we started with a warm-up um, but the ideas within the warm-up were actually related to what the next things would be when we sat and talked or gave presentations. The most two magic you've got a beautiful white light that comes up through the floor and goes right through the centre of the body, pops out the top of the head. So there's this beautiful long, long line of lights shining through the body. And as you breathe out, Kind of empty like a paper bag, and you drop the tail bone down and you kind of collapse yourself to have some So I'm Kelly and I'm a set and costume designer. Uh, I think the most interesting thing for me about doing this workshop was doing kind of the practical dancing in the morning because it's not something that I would usually do during my day and I've actually found a lot of it really resonates um, with what she later talked about and that kind of finding that freedom actually in movement and becoming more comfortable with that makes me question how I can incorporate that into design. Is there a way that I can improvise more in what I do or be more free or experience the piece in a different way? I've worked on a lot of devised projects and I've worked in really um, collaborative environments and I'm interested in kind of continuing that and maybe developing my own work. Uh, and working in a really collaborative way with others. So I, I kind of came to this expecting to meet other people that were interested in collaboration. We talked about collaboration with musicians, how to manage uh, people, but also how to collaborate, not be the, necessarily the leader, but actually be responsive to each other while you collaborate and um, sharing ideas. 
and sort of sharing things. Hi. Hi. Can you tell me what you're what you're up to? Hi, I'm Amelia, um, and Kasha and I today are working on a project that is surrounding us as movers and how we might use our voice during movement, during making. Both uh, dancers and singers or musicians and yeah. sort of trying to cross both arts and um, trying sort of swapping the places a little bit to find more appreciation and more new ways of finding work. The second day was very much about sort of working with one another, collaborative work processes. And so if you do that and you lead or you're led, you start to think about that. In, it's not just a business concept, it's a physical concept. And then today I sort of mentioned, you know, it's a networking event, so let's look professional. And I saw that everybody nicely dressed, very confidently speaking, very articulate. Um, I think I saw that on Wednesday, don't, don't get me wrong, but I did feel like they were just really clear about who they were and uh, themselves as artists and I felt that that had just, it just was clearer to me. Uh, so I'm hoping that they'll go away and be inspired and a lot to think about, a lot of research. Um, but I really want to inspire people to get out there and make work and be successful. Wow.